Welcome back to part two. I was just finishing to sh uh, this picture, which was... Um, <clears throat> it's an archway, a big archway, that's done in uh, my classroom. And on the reverse side of that, I'll show you the pictures of that, but it's um, the forest, the rainforest. Um, this, co this is off one of the uh, paintings in another part of the school to show you how to do a a squiddle or whatever they're called <laughs> um, this is another school project we were doing habitat so I did an 8 foot by 4 foot painting there's even a spider's web in the um, even though I don't I hate spiders but there's a spider's web in the fencing little fox poking out of the tree squiddle's tail poking out of that side though I put butterflies and caterpillars dangling off here uh, the kids, you know, there are lots of things that they can stand on the stairs and then look to see what they can find. And because it was habitat, I did it like the ground was cut away. So this is a, a pond, the life in the pond, and on it. Worms, moulds, a uh, little badger. This is a, sorry, the pond section. Snails, tadpoles, you name it, it's got it all in there. Frog on a lily pad, lily flower, swan. It's got a bird on the fence, sorry. And the leaves. The leaves were done with a template. I just made my own template and then did all the dark ones first, and then lighter and lighter until I got to the very lightest. Um, so they're very, very, very quick and easy to do wood uh, fencing I'll show you how to do that and I'll show you how to do the trees and that's the painting on the stairs in full then another one that I did for the school was another eight foot by four foot and it was on the Egyptians and this is Nefertiti uh, you can't I'm really sorry it's not very clear for you to see sorry Um, just doing the shading in the neck and the face. What it was on an eight foot by, I'll show you the picture in a minute, each corner had a different pharaoh. Here's another one. And that's the painting eight foot by four foot all around the edges were done in different pa uh, different colors yellows and uh, browns and then each one had a hieroglyphic picture on it these are just some of the uh, kind of paintings I like doing sorry I just, I'm trying I can't see, I've got it in front of the computer and I can't see um, this was a still life coffee in a cup with a spoon glass of wine the bottle in the background this is a lady a well lady a little girl um, and her eyes follow you everywhere but it was all these two were done with um, watercolor this is a favorite one of mine tiger's eyes and they actually stand out you can't see it in the picture but they do stand out I do and what I did with this one it was a picture a thin picture just of eyes and I thought oh I'd love to do that picture so I did mine out of watercolours this is another favourite of mine the iris and there's a lot of detail in it if you go onto my website you'll be able to see these clear um, and that's www.artbyfiona.art.officelive.com and you'll be able to see them a lot clearer again that's that scene in the Scotland this was just doing toadstools and grass and that was a um, whole bunch of fruit in a old Venetian vase then this is the um, the other side of the board that I said had the rainforest on so I took photographs of each section this is the toucan the sloth it's got the vines going up 
no, more parts, more sections of it. This is the one with the parrot uh, flying in, more toucans, monkey, the uh, big flower, the orchid flower, the frog, another frog on the branch, another one here. The snake on the branch, the tiger hiding in the background, another parrot sat here below the monkey. This was done for Seacroft Hospital and they wanted a, a similar sort of scene. It's a round room. On the left hand side, complete half of the room was done as a, a rainforest. On the right was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So there was lots for the kids to see when they sat waiting to see the doctor. But a little, I mean, I put um, loads of little tiny snakes in and things like that. So it's climbing up the tusk. But they, you know, they've written it down. How many snakes can you see? How many butterflies can you see? So they've made it into a game thing. It, it helps take the mind off what's happening to them. So this is the elephant jungle. Uh, sorry, the uh, elephant in the jungle. There's another snake here. Frogs sat on the uh, things and all the flowers. Again, another sloth. It's the monkey with the, um, the baby. And the elephant's trunk was poking through the leaves, smelling it. Another monkey calling to its mates. A wider view of the sloth next to the elephant and all the animals in. Lots and lots of different creatures and creepies and things like that in there. A different view again. This was of the flowers and the lots of different things in there. All the moss and everything and the different flowers um, that you get in the jungle. That's the one of the bird. Close with the toucans. He's got a cherry in his beak. And then what I've done here, um, these were again for another hospital and these are all the cartoon characters and they're all there's 30 odd of them all up um, I can't remember the name of the characters not all of them but um, they're just fun pictures for the kids takes the mind off what's matter with them as you can see Donald Duck Tweety Pie Pinocchio uh, this one I had to alter because it looked like he was looking up a skirt <laughs> and they they rang me and they said can you come and alter this people think that he's looking up a skirt and it's not not very appropriate so I had to go up and put I made what I did I made that a bush with flowers and, and took him out and then did him separate <laughs> that was fun that I never even thought of it when I was and that's unusual for me mm. What's up, Dak? <laughs> Is it Simba? With the mountain range in the back, the volcano. Um, Shrek. <laughs> I love doing things like this. Love doing characters. Mickey Mouse. Bambi with a butterfly on his tail Winnie the Pooh and characters Piglet and all that Scooby Doo there he is again I made him bigger and I made her smaller so he's looking down at her <laughs> oh and uh, Pluto is it this wasn't finished. I did add a bowl of uh, meat and a bone on the floor after that. Um, ants. Seen under the sea. The pearls hanging off the mirror. Shell mirror on a rock. Sat on a... I can't remember what she sat on. Oh, some form under the sea. This was an eight foot by four foot painting. 
of two deers. Trees in the background, again doing the Bob Ross trees. Then an ordinary tree I'll show you how to do. A bit of rockery. Two little squiddle, um, skunks sat here. Lots of flowers. Uh, these are just a cartoony type. I first did it in a pencil sketch of a cow with a hat on and a bandana. And then decided to do it in a colour. So I recreated it. Slight difference between them. Magical dragon. Or fantasy dragon, should I say. Fantasy, uh, fantasy fairy on a toadstool. Um, little devil, I called him. Oh, you've seen that, the day one and the night one. Must have printed that one off twice. Wasn't meant. <laughs> They're all what I've just shown. I must have printed it off twice. I had to print them off because I needed them for my portfolio. This is, I'll quickly run through this one. This is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs scene. With a castle in the background. And this is in the hospital. This was on the other side of the round room. Um, Mr. Happy. Doc. Dopey. Uh, is it Miss? I forgot his name now. Oh, I don't. I can't remember his name. Is it Mr. Angry? So I don't know. Uh, Sneezy. Can't remember what his name is. Oh God, I can't remember. Bashful. Sleepy. <laughs> and these were just parts of that. I made a house with Doc uh, sat there. Uh, stood there. Sorry. Bashful was on the on the box under the tree with a squiddle sticking his tail out. This wasn't finished. This uh, when I took the picture. This was the witch. I did all this with scrolls, you know, and, and swirls and whatever. Um, but look, I did the tree. See the bark coming, the branch coming off, and then just showing you how to do the flowers. And then that was a window box that I did on the house. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I've got to show you at the moment. I do have more, but um, I thought I'd better not bore you too long with them. Um, I just wanted to share some of my work. And like I say, I do enjoy doing the um, these. I absolutely love doing these. I really do. It's just... It's, it's the things you can create. It's marvellous. And I will be doing tutorials on those and showing you how to do them. And you try them, you will see how quick and easy and then how creative you can be. Because as you build your picture, you can think, oh, I'll put this in, I'll put that in. I could have put somebody stood here leaning on a tree. Just black silhouette. In fact, I might go back and do that. Because I do like that idea. Gazing off into the sunset. Thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. And thank you everybody for your comments. I'm absolutely bowled over by them. And um, it's all thanks to my parents. And somebody asked me, did my mother paint? Yes, my mother was a very good flower arranger. She also made her own, uh, we made all our clothes. Um, she taught me how to sew, how to knit, how to crochet, how to embroider. She did fantastic embroidering, uh, like the old time. And then she, she'd only paint by numbers, but she would make it look like it's not done paint by num painted by numbers. And um, But she, yeah, she had a multitude of talents, the same as my father, who was an excellent, excellent um, woodcrafter and um, French polisher. And like I say, um, he also taught me how to do that, French polishing. It's very, very hard, hard work. Lots of sanding back and redoing, sanding back. Uh, but I absolutely love it. And if you've got a small project, um, it's brilliant to try it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for all your comments. And I'll speak to you soon.